This PX13 has a little trick up its design sleeve. Oh, is that right? Which is that this laptop does not just go flat, it actually is two in one. Oh, wow. And this is one of the most powerful two-in-ones that you can get. It can go all the way flat to the other side and become a tablet like that. And it actually has a touchscreen as well. Oh. Okay. Licensing Windows is cheap and easy with whokeys.com. And if you use the code TN20, you get an extra discount. Complete the purchase, copy the key, and paste it to the activation settings. And you're all done. Also check out their Microsoft Office 19 license and use the same code TN20 for the extra discount. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. Firstly, let's take a look at the price. Both of these laptops in their original price form are around $2,000. PX13 comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM, the MacBook Pro 24 gigabytes of RAM. The MacBook Pro has 512 gigabytes of storage, whereas the PX13 has two terabytes of storage. That's four times as much. The thing is, if you're actually thinking about picking up either of these laptops, I've seen both of them on a sale during the holiday season, and I'll leave the links in the video description below, especially the MacBook Pro. Do not buy this from Apple's website. If you go through my links, it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper. Go check it out in the links below. The designs of the laptop. I mean, MacBook is kind of just, you know, the MacBook design. It's very minimalistic and I am a big fan of it. When using it, it is all very, very high quality, premium. It's, it's absolutely amazing. But the PX13 is throwing its punches even in the design form factor. It is matte black. It's got very cool accents around the hinges and around of the screen. There's little etching in there. And when you look at the actual keyboard, it's very, very minimalistic. You do have these stickers that I highly recommend you remove. Now, when looking at the port on the right side, we can see that the PX13 has a power button micro SD card slot, USB type A that's 10 gigabits in speed, and then USB 4, which is 40 gigabits in speed USB-C port. The MacBook Pro has an SD card, full-size SD card slot, USB type C that is Thunderbolt 5 and supports power delivery as well, and an HDMI port. On the left side, you can see some ventilation grills on the PX13. We've got DC in, which is a special power plug. Unfortunately, it's not MagSafe or magnetic. You have to kind of kick it in there. MacBook has the MagSafe, which is really, really nice. Two USB-C that are Thunderbolt 5 and mic and headphone combo jack. We've got HDMI and another USB Type-C, which is 40 gigabits in speed on the PX13, plus a mic and headphone combo jack there. In terms of port, very, very similar, but I've got to give the edge to the MacBook Pro because of the full-size SD card slot, which is a lot more useful than a micro SD card slot. Even though the PX13 has a USB type A port, the Thunderbolt 5 has a lot more capabilities, but unfortunately it doesn't support external GPU, even though Thunderbolt 5 would be awesome for that. The main thing in terms of the ports for me is the SD card slot. The micro SD card slot is not actually that useful. Then the screen. The PX13 has an OLED 13 inch screen, whereas the MacBook has a 14 inch liquid retina XDR display, which is basically Apple's own version, what they want to call a mini LED. Even though the technologies are different, OLED has slightly deeper blacks than the MacBook, but the biggest differences are in the Hertz. The PX13 is only 60 Hertz panel, whereas the MacBook has up to 120 Hertz. Both of them 10 bit, wide color range and very color accurate screen, for both of the creators. I believe because of the two-in-one aspect of the PX13, I wanna give the win to the PX13 just because it does support pen support and touchscreen. It's a little bit more versatile for creators compared to the MacBook. Now, when it comes to keyboards, there's a lot of people who don't like the Apple keyboards. I don't really mind. I think it's pretty good and the way it works, I'm not one of those people because one of my favorite keyboards is the Logitech MX keys, which is very low profile. It's not mechanical and I love it a lot. But at the same time, when you have tried the PX13, I've got to say there is something extra with these keys. It just works a little bit nicer. This is one of the nicest laptop keyboards that I have used. You're never gonna miss the keys. It's very nice tactile feedback and actually a lot quieter. For somehow, these keys are a lot more dampened. Listen. 
But when it comes to trackpads, the Mac, there is no competition for Mac. The Mac trackpads are the absolute best. The way it just works is insane. It's haptic trackpad, which means that wherever you're going to click, you can have feedback with your finger. Whereas on the PX13, we have a trackpad on in the hinge. But there is an interesting secret that you don't see on any laptops. There is an integrated hybrid ASUS style here, which you can turn on by pressing this little circle on the top right corner and swiping down towards the bottom left corner. And then this little light there comes on. And then when moving a finger around there, you actually, as you can see, ASUS style came on there. And you can use this as either brightness, I can adjust the sit system brightness but when you're in creative applications like photoshop premiere pro or something else you can actually map this dial to do different things like timeline scrolling or brush sizes or something like that so there is a little bit extra customization that you can add to your creative workflow with this but the most important thing performance how does this compare to the macbook can it even beat it well firstly looking at cpu in blender the PX13 is about 20% slower in Monster Scene, about 9% slower in Junk Shop Scene, and about 4% slower in Classroom Scene. So the M4 Pro with 12 core CPU, bear in mind that this is the cut down version, not the fully saturated um, m4 pro chip the m4 pro is better looking at the blender gpu here now though the px13 is 51.2 percent faster in monster scene 26 percent faster in junk shop scene and 54.4 percent faster in classroom scene that is a huge huge boost in 3d and that is because this tiny little guy is actually featuring nvidia rtx 4070 laptop gpu in there and it's super super powerful it's got eight gigabytes of dedicated vram graphics performance in this 13 inch form factor I would like to see which other laptop can match that. This for a creator is absolutely insane. There is a little caveat though. The 4070 is not available everywhere in the world, especially if you're watching from the US, you must be mad. For some reason, Asus decided that they're not gonna send the 4070 version in the US and you're only gonna have to be happy with the 4060. That being said, the 4060 is still super, super powerful and I expect it to still beat M4 Pro cut down version in 3D applications. And it would be a lot cheaper as well compared to the 4070 model. But check out the links in the description below if you want the 4060 or 4070 version. Then a browser benchmark speedometer 3.0, the PX13 is 55% slower. That is very, very embarrassing. Now, in actual real world usage, when I've been using both of them, it doesn't feel that bad, okay? The PX13 still very, very snappy in browser as well, but you can feel the MacBook Pro is a little bit better, but it doesn't feel 50% or half the speed on the PX13. But then another 3D application, the Redshift, the PX13 is 42.75% faster that is a huge gain in any 3d applications these are just two that i have benchmarks for if you look at actual over 3d applications supported on both of them the px13 wins big time because of the nvidia graphics card inside there you will have so much better support in any of the 3d applications so if you're doing 3d the px13 it's an, it's a no-brainer you're gonna have to go with this one instead of the macbook pro but then looking at geekbench again the px13 is almost 30 percent slower in single core score and about 27 percent slower in multi-core score pretty big win for the apple when looking at the gpu performance in geekbench 6 the PX13 is 86.5% faster in the OpenCL score, very close to double the performance, and the Metal and Vulcan score, even though they're not really comparable, PX13 is still a little bit faster. Cinebench R24, PX13 is 36.5% slower in the single core score, and about 20% slower in the multi-core score. Here's another caveat. A single core performance on Mac is absolutely insane. It's sincerely ridiculous. And because of the 120 Hertz refresh rate on the screen, it does feel a lot snappier, smoother than the PX13, which has lower refresh rate. All of these tests that I have done on the asus pro art have been done with plugged in and maximum performance whereas on the macbook you don't have to plug in 
any of the power to get the same performance. When you unplug the PX13, you're actually gonna lose a little bit of the performance but it's not as bad as we've seen in the past on Windows laptops. From 113 to 110 in single core score and losing about 20, 30 points in the multi-core score in Cinebench R24, which is only a couple of percent difference. But regardless, it's not the full performance when you're unplugged and that's the point. Moving on to Photoshop and the PX13 is about 22% slower in the overall score, 32% slower in the filter score. The MacBooks are absolutely insane on Photoshop and photo editing applications, especially in Adobe Suite. So if you're looking for ultimate photo editing performance, MacBook is the one to get. But moving on to Premiere Pro, we can see that the PX13 is about four to 9% faster in the overall scores, which is very, very surprising to me. I would have expected Apple to be performing a lot better, but the Nvidia GPU and AMD CPU the combination actually does work. The long GOP can be up to 10% faster. The raw score is 44.8% faster on the PX13 and the GPU score about 26.7% faster. So in Premiere Pro, the PX13 is a lot faster unless you're using ProRes then at that point, the MacBook actually does a better job because of their media engines really do a great job with ProRes playback and encoding decoding. But in DaVinci Resolve, in another video editing application, PX13 is about 15 to 17% slower in the overall scores. In GPU effects, we're a little bit faster. And in AI, we're actually faster because the Nvidia GPU really pulls its weight there. But generally, the MacBook really is doing a better job in there. You said in the beginning of the video that this is a MacBook killer. And as you saw, depending what you're gonna be doing. So in what areas is this the MacBook killer? I would say if you are a 3D creator who needs extremely portable, lightweight laptop, and maybe you're a designer, graphic designer who needs pen support and having the two in one feature, this is amazing, amazing laptop. Even in Adobe Premiere Pro, if you want 13 inch form factor, this guy is absolutely amazing. If you're looking for photo editing or video editing in DaVinci Resolve or pure CPU performance, the MacBook actually is a little bit better. I've got to admit, even the battery life is better at MacBook just because it uses so much less power. To get the same CPU results, we're pulling about 60 to 80 watts on here. Whereas the M4 Pro, we're talking about 20, about four times less. And that's why the MacBook battery will last a lot longer. But in conclusion, when I've been using the PX13, there is nothing like this tiny laptop to have a beautiful OLED screen with touchscreen capabilities, the keyboard and the way it responds. I'm surprised how much power they have packed into this small form factor PC because it's the same performance that this bigger brother P16 has out there. It's absolutely insane. If you want to check out the actual teardown and some of the overview where you go a little bit more depth about this laptop, go check it out. I'm going to leave it in the description below because there is some upgrade options actually on this laptop, whereas there's nothing on the MacBook. Go check it out. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.